There we go. Speared. Oh, he's got a can of pale ale. Nice. Not that I like pale ale. Uh, the realist Joseph Morgan. Thanks for stopping in. The fa oh god, I didn't even realize that there was the realist and the fake. That's pretty funny. Take the Ambien. Where was it? Where was it? Where was it? We're in the uh, private dance lounge. Here it is. Here it is. This is what we need. Be this guy right here. A wooden barrel of single malt whiskey. A hundred liters of single malt whiskey. Tell me what more you need in the apocalypse than this. And that is way too heavy for me to carry. <laughs> so we'll have to drag it. Uh, it's taking about five seconds for every space we move. And we're unfortunately going to pick a bunch of other crap up while we do it. But, you know, whatever. I'm going to toss it in the back of the pickup truck. Let's uh, stop dragging that. Let's do advanced inventory management. And we're going to do the spot just below us to the vehicle on the right. And we're going to toss that barrel of whiskey in there. Oh, what's in the seat? Chewing gum. Don't care. Oh, we got uh, to open the gates here. Okay, gates are open. Uh, we never, we never popped any of these crates. Well, glass bottle of single pot still Irish whiskey, man. A lot of, a lot of booze and food in this place. Oddly enough. Well, what do you mean can't pry the crate open? Just do it. Madeira wine, and some glass shards. So apparently there were more bottles than just that in here earlier. Some peaches, some canned tomatoes, frying pan, a glass jar. I've got plenty of those. Some forest honey? Okay. Some chewing tobacco? No, thank you. Okay. Hey, it starts up. Alright, here's the problem. There's really no road out of here. The only thing I can maybe hope for is to uh, see if I can find a path through these trees here. Uh, otherwise I gotta drive like all the way around out here and that just that just seems like a pain in the ass especially since this town isn't clear. Uh, we cleared a lot of the stadium uh, except for the inside because that oof, that looked like a problem. Um so yeah, I don't know how far we're going to be able to drive this. Hey, Dundee Special. Long time no see. Oh god. Alright. Okay, this is where... Yeah, this road is... Um, Ah, sidewalk, also known as alternate road. All right, I'm gonna stop here real quick and see if there's a spot we can get through. I'm guessing there is not. I'm, I'm feeling that this is a fool's errand. A bouncer zombie, a fat zombie, and a zombie zombie. Okay. Well, this is happening. Uh, what's our encumbrance? 35. Not great. Let's drop some crap. Let's get rid of the travel pack. And I guess we can get rid of the fanny pack. What's our torso encumbrance now? 21. Okay, we're good now. Wow. Okay, there's a lot of assholes down here. Oh, is that a grappler zombie? Uh, yikes. 
Hey, you stop by and bug me anytime you want. Followers and viewers are uh, always a good thing to have on a on a starting stream. Ah, oh, man, I'm I'm worried about that grappler zombie. Like, I'm not worried about anything else here, but that grappler zombie is gonna be a problem. I just need oh, you son of a bitch. All right, well. Oh, he didn't grab me. Ha <laughs> ha! Sucker! Man, those, uh... Those spear noises are something! What's my stamina looking like? Eh, it's getting sketchy, but I think we're alright. Ooh, Horizon Zero Dawn. Oh, so good. I think that's the only game on my PS4 I ever platinumed. Yeah, enjoy, man. Appreciate you stopping by. Yeah. Our stamina's a little sketchy. So let's uh let's dive in here and take a quick breather. Alright, now we're good. Smash, 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 smash. Yeah, I, uh, I mean, I'm an achievement guy, and I'm a, a completionist, but I usually end up getting bored before I get to, the, you know, the threshold. And then, you know, depending on the achievements, some of them are really dumb, where Horizon Zero Dawn, I thought they were all pretty, pretty reasonable, and uh, the game was just so good. What we got? A zombie and a fox. Well, hey. Now we just gotta get uh, Foxy Boxy over here. Yeah, I'm not. Uh, yeah, okay, got it. Tough zombie. If this tree wasn't here, I could probably sneak the truck through. The problem is, well, hmm. I think the toolbox does tree cutting. It does. So, assuming we don't get uh, press ganged by a zombie that shows up, I think we can cut that tree down and get it out of our way. So let's, uh, oops, let's activate the toolbox. Let's chop down a tree. Yes, okay, I knew he was out here somewhere. Oh, uh, this, well, it's not a problem, but I have... Um, fleet footed so as long as I'm on solid ground I actually move fast enough where I can evade the zombies without running helps me save a lot of stamina but when I'm in the grass it doesn't activate so I just gotta make sure like it's one zombie he's fine but I just want to make sure that I don't get uh, don't get carried away all right let's try that again chop down a tree uh, you can fall that direction. Alright, let's see if we can get our uh, our pickup truck with our keg through here. Uh, so we've got to wear the travel pack, fanny pack, the travel pack, and we got to pick everything back up. Alright, fails to start. There we go. Take it slow. Really? Underbrush? Okay. Oh, God. Alright, well. <laughs> uh. Yeah, this, uh... Oh, God, driving in this game is crap. Alright, so we gotta floor it because you gotta be moving at a pretty decent clip to smash underbrush, apparently. <laughs> uh, can't get any speed going.
Man, it's a good thing I do not care what happens to this damn truck. All right, let's floor it. <laughs> yeah, all right. Well, I'm going to go on record and say that that didn't work. Yeah, we did some bad we did some serious damage to the frame. Uh, I don't remember if the car battery and the engine were in bad shape before, but they sure are now. <laughs> Uh, it's too funny. Okay. Um, damn, I was really hoping I I was going to be able to, to get through here. I mean, I, I probably can. I'm just, uh, I'm getting bored with this already. <laughs> uh, I'm playing on stable, so I don't think towing is actually a thing in stable. So, we've made it this far. And I think what we're going to do is we can go back up to the uh, the dairy farm here. And we can get a vehicle to come here, drag everything over there, put it in that vehicle, and pull it out. A little, uh, a little janky, I will grant you. But there's no limit to what I won't do to get that keg and that barrel of whiskey. Because, yeah, yeah, um, in experimental, I don't remember the build number, um, but yes, you can actually tow. Uh, the problem with towing is that it's a, you know, like everything else in experimental, is fairly janky, uh, and it uses like 10 times the amount of gas that it normally should, so, obviously kind of a problem, but in a pinch, it'll get the job done. What is this supposed to be? Uh, metal wall. Metal wall of what? Holy crap! Oh, this is that airliner crash, I bet. Wow! That's really cool. Screw you, dude. Wow, look at... If I ever needed more uh, more chunks of steel and scrap metal... There it is. Another zombie. Hold on, I, I, I'm getting sidetracked, I know, but I, I really want to check this out, because this is cool as hell. Yeah, I mean, this is, this is what I assume is... You know, it hit somewhere back here and then just dragged all the way to, uh, you know, made it all the way to the crash site. All right, buddy, come on. I hear a thump. Why am I hearing thumps? I don't know. Oh, safe mode off. There we go. I was like, why isn't he moving? Yeah. There we go. Man, steel spear doing work. This is all, yeah, scrap metal. This is small metal sheets, yeah. Wow, yeah, I could come back here and get probably all the metal I would ever need again. Crawling zombie and a zombie. Okay, come on. Why is it, uh... Is it above me or something? Is that why I can't see it? Alright, I'm not comfortable standing there. Alright, I gotta run for just a second. Okay, back to walking. Stamina's still okay. Let's let them come to us. Oops. Grab me. Worked out real well for him, though. Uh, oh, okay, fine. Alright, there's a lot of them. Apparently, everybody survived this plane crash and became zombies. Is that what it is under the tail? Okay. That makes sense. Whoa. Alright. 
We, uh, we practice, uh, social distancing here, buddy. I don't know what you're, uh, you're thinking you're doing. Getting all up in my business. Alright, let's, uh, get our stamina back. Okay, I don't... Until he's dangerously close, don't talk to me. Smashy, smashy. Yeah. No, 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 please don't. Alright. Oh, man, I almost didn't see that guy. Come on, a little closer. Ah, cheers. Wow, there's a lot of them in there. <laughs> well, I mean, did they survive the crash and were maybe injured and couldn't escape and became zombies? Or did they die in the crash and be resurrected as zombies? That is, uh, that is, of course, you know, the question there. He's stuck on the metal wreckage. Yeah, there's a lot of them. Some coming from the north, too. Alright, let's, uh, you know what, let's... Let's peace oot. Let, uh, let a couple of them come to us. Grab me. Come on. Yeah, I don't like this at all. It's my uh, encumbrance. God, ah, wrong damn button. Thirty-seven plus nine. Yeah, that's that's the problem. So let's, yeah, let's let's drop them. Yep, that's fine. Oh God! Yeah, I should be able to hit much more consistently now. Come on. Not a problem. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's pretty much it. We're fine, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. We're dead. We're just dead. <laughs> it's amazing how, how quickly this game can go from uh, just 0 to 60. I mean, it, it, when it steps on the accelerator, it steps on the accelerator. Alright, smashy, smashy. Smashy, smashy. Alright. Anybody else? I mean, they were all, uh... None of those were evolved zombies in any way, so... I mean, it looked probably a lot easier than it was. I think, uh, I think we got the critical mass of them. Let me put our travel packs back on. Man, I gotta fix that one. That one is traced. Now, there was another... There was another zombie I gotta filter on. Yep. There was another zombie that fell into a pile, and I didn't get to smash him. But I don't see it in here, so I might, maybe I did get him. All right, what do we got here? This is actually kind of what I was interested in. Trench coat. Ah, it's cotton. Well, I think we could still use that for survivor gear, though. Someone in the bathroom. Tough zombie. Oh, yeah. All right, we're all right. Alright, that's that'll be quite enough of that. That will be quite enough of that. Candy. Ah, bathroom with a view. Need a raincoat. I remember us needing that. Some candy. Hey. Let's grab some uh some yum yums. What do I need? I needed plastic bags. That's what I needed. What do we got in here? 
fire extinguisher, first aid kit, take it. I don't need any of that. Alright. Bunch of bunch of yums. I've got plenty of food. I I just I can't help myself. I this game is a hoarding simulator. Crawling zombie. Okay. We're good. Mm-hmm. Now, now you're not crawling. Light jacket. I don't know that I need that, but I'll pick it up. Pretzels. Potato chips. Chewy candy. Alright, so there's no less than one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight A holes on the other side of that wall. And it ain't gonna last forever. <laughs> yeah. I well and the problem Especially with these uh, these travel packs because they're not rigid. So if I look at this guy right here, encumbrance when full is 25. So the more crap I jam in here, the more encumbered I am, the harder it is for me to attack. So I have to keep dropping crap um, to make room or to lower my encumbrance so I don't get just mercilessly slaughtered. And if I could just learn to not pick up things I don't absolutely need, that might not be nearly as much of an issue. Cool. Sorry you had to come all the way over here just to uh, just to get smoked, dude. Are they taking damage walking over that? Is that what that is? Oops. Yeah, they're all. It looks like they're all taking damage. So this is a nice little spot to just stand and.